Guys, in today's video of machine learning, I am learning about the testing of perceptron. So yeah, we are learning about that. So now, let's move to the computer screen and let's do a coding with loving. So guys, uh, in today's machine learning video, I am uh, telling you about the linear graph. So yeah, I am te telling you about that. So let's start and let's learn about the linear graphs in machine learning. So let's learn about that. Linear graphs. Machine learning is often uses the line graph to show the relationships. A line graph displays the values of a linear function x, y equals to ax plus b. Important keywords. Now, let me give you one some important keywords. But uh, uh, so first of all, I write like here 2, 7, 2, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, 217. Now. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Now, important keywords. I'm giving one important keyword. There are some important keywords like these important keywords. Let me tell you. There are three important keywords like linear straight, slope angel, and in, uh, intercept start value. Linear. Linear means straight. A linear graph is a straight line. The graph consists of two axes, x minus axis horizontally, horizontal and y axis vertical. For example, like that, here you can see it. this one code, here you can see it. When I go here and there one code has been do here you can see it. When I copy this code and this the one Python code, okay. When I I run this Python code when I go on my replit, when I erase it, when I erase it, when I erase it, when I erase it. Sorry. When I open my replit, first of all, let me go on my Google. Okay, my net is working slow, that's why it's taking too much loading. When I open my replit, when I open my replit like that. And then, what can I do? Let me tell you. First of all, uh, it uh, when I go here, First of all, I click uh, edit taking a loading because my net is working slow. That's why it's taking a too much loading. Uh, if, uh, if your net has been very faster, so it has been load very fast. Okay, so let me. Okay, now it has been open it. I click on to the create repel like that. No, no, I, I do not click on my. Uh, let me click click on the my recent repels and I click in my this repel of Python. Okay, so it is taking a loading. Okay, just wait for it. When it has been take a loading, so let, then I have told you how to run this code. But first of all, let me tell you about the slope. Uh, slope. The slope is the angel of the graph. The slope is the value in a linear graph. Okay. So why it is not okay? Now it has been running. Let me disconnect it and let me connect it now. Now it has been running it. Let me wait. When it is running, so let's learn about many things else. So y equals to ax. In the example, slope equals to 1.2. For example, let slope equals to 1.2. Oh, okay. And now, intercept. The intercept is the start value of the graph. The intercept is the b value in a linear graph y equals to ax plus b in the example uh, in the example slope equals to 1.2 intercept uh, equals to 7 for example like that here you can see it. so let me run this code but first of all let me run my let me close my google and let me open my google why it is taking too much loading disconnect it and then connect it now, when it has been connected, let me open my Google, then why Google? Okay, now my net is working fast. Replit. Open Replit. Now, create, open my Python file. So, now, here I can see it. Now, let me, so, let me go here and when I paste this code uh, like that, 
and let me see please tell me what is error in this code and give me complete code with output so now when i wrote like here so now it had been give me all thing with the output now here you can see it and now when i run it now it is installing the portly graph okay now just for just wait for it it is installing hmm okay stop then run again okay now the site can't be reach okay my site is not reaching so 127.001 okay i understand so what you can do you can click here like that so now here you can see it now come here and this one more code has been written so let's learn about that this one example so let me see so this code has been run on the html okay uh, not on the uh, replet on the python okay when i open my replet then first of all you go on your replet and matplotlib is the javascript popular library okay if you don't know so let me open my python uh, let me open my html file and in your html file you can wrote this type of code then you can run so it give you one graph here you can see it because we are learning about the linear graph so it like it give me like that here you can see it now it give me output like that in the web view here you can see it and you can run this code on your visual studio code also when i go here you can click here index but if you run this on your uh, uh visual studio code so you can download the mat plotlib okay sorry plotlib you have much downloaded then it has been run it on your visual studio code that's why if you do not download in a mat plotlib so it has been do not run let me go here here you can see it it give me the output like that it has been make it here you can see it you can do like in your visual studio code also and it give me one graph here you can see it x equals to x uh, sorry y equals to x here you can see it like that and it give me like that here you can see it so now this one more example has been shown here you can see it let me run these uh, examples also how to run it let me tell you first of all you can uh, copy this example sorry copy this example like that then go to your go to your here and then paste it like that and then please tell me what is error in this code then it has been printed you this this did this type of error has been in your code okay like now here you can see it when i run it here you can see it, it gave me like this type of uh, this type of output like slope equals to 1.2 if you run it on your visual studio code so you can also run it save it and go and run it so here you can see it, slope equals to 1.2 and here you can see one graph has been made it here you can see it and you can also zoom it and like that you can do it like that you can do it here you can see it one graph has been made it. this called one this is called a linear graph what this is called a linear graph okay graphs okay so here you can see it in today's video of machine learning i'm told, told i told you about the um, what is the linear graphs i appreciate your support today we generally appreciate my work so please let your friends know about this course too and if you haven't checked my whole playlist yet so move on to the code with pk.com on my youtube channel so you can easily access it so for today goodbye